How many times have you reset a game and started playing it from the very beginning again? Or rewatched a movie? Maybe also read the same book again? Have you ever wondered what living the same experience once more would feel like? There is a certain beauty in reliving the same experience because you already somewhat know what it will feel like but it surprisingly can still feel very different the second time. This is the story of second times. I have been dancing breaking since roughly 15 years and recently had the idea of learning a move I can already do, but to the opposite direction. It's comparable to learning writing with the opposite hand you usually write with. What's the point in learning how to write with the opposite hand or learning the move to the opposite direction? I have no idea. It might be completely pointless. But I might figure out something exceptional at the end of this whole process. Usually when I perform breaking rotations I spin clockwise. Now my goal is to learn at least one round of air flare to the opposite direction, counterclockwise. This is how the air flare on my strong side looks like. And this is how only one round of air flare should look like. My goal, however, is more specific. I want to learn the flare to air flare to flare combination, which implies being able to connect one round of air flare from flare to flare. To make one round of air flare count, I will have to execute it smoothly, without stopping or cheating by pushing with the foot on the floor. Sliding one foot on the floor, as long as it is not too heavy, still makes it count as a proper round. I already had a plan on how to best approach this learning process in a limited time. But I wanted to hear some friends' opinions first. E secondo te dovrei dare più priorità a provare combo di move dall'altra parte o più priorità ai freeze o 50-50? 60 trick. Avete sentito? E 40 power move. Ok, grazie, grazie bro. Then it was time to start practicing. The hardest part for me was controlling the movement itself. I often felt very uncoordinated and weak as well to the opposite direction. It just felt weird and uncomfortable. I started practicing this move in different ways. The first method was to keep my body more vertical, somewhat like a handstand, but it clearly didn't work very well. The second method involved using no momentum, that would make controlling the movement easier, but yet again, this method didn't seem to fit me. Finally, I tried using some momentum and this seemed to work a little better for me.
For the first weeks, there was little to no progress. I was unmotivated, and I even surprised asking myself, what is the point of learning this move again? Is it worth my time and energy? At this point, I decided to postpone this video, to give myself more time to practice this move and film other videos in the meanwhile. Yo, ninjas and Kaio, and welcome to the second Airflare follow-along tutorial. I'm gonna start smaller, and then I'm gonna try to hop higher. One, three. But then, this happened. <laughs> okay, okay, it was nothing mind-blowing, but I have spent uncountable hours in this room, creating content, filming tutorials and practicing power moves, yet nothing nearly as loud and shattering has ever happened. Maybe it's a sign that I should concentrate on successfully performing the combo and focus on finishing this video instead? Yes. Let's do it! I felt highly motivated and decided I would spend time training this move one last time. Therefore, I tried to put in maximum effort. These were my best attempts. I think I can say I did it. It's not perfect, it's not even good, but it's still something, and it's still an improvement. I probably will, less intensely, keep practicing this combo to make it better. So, what's the point? From my perspective, being able to go back in time and relive the same experience, feel the excitement and frustration that comes along with it again, is quite unique and showed me how these emotions are as strong, powerful as the first time.